This project is an European project funded by the Erasmus Plus framework. Um, it means democratic education in school and it encompasses 10 partners among which state school, democratic school, school networks and university. The objective is to uh, bring um, the European framework of life competences and citizenship competence into action in school by empowering teachers uh, with a new methodology um, uh, taken by the democratic education approach, meaning that we look at self-directed learning and shared management of the schools in order to be able to equip students with the skill needed in the 21st century's challenges. Ahora mismo estamos en la primera fase. En esta fase detectamos las necesidades de formación que tiene el profesorado sobre eh, precisamente los valores democráticos en la escuela. A partir de ahí pasamos al objetivo 2 que es el diseño de un plan de formación para profesorado en esta línea. La fase 3 es la promoción del proyecto mediante audiovisuales, webs y visibilización del proyecto. Y por último, la fase 4 es la elaboración de unas guías de recomendación para el profesorado que les ayude a fomentar los valores democráticos en sus escuelas de infantil, primaria y secundaria. This desk project is an incredible opportunity because we are getting support by the European Union to find really an area of intersection between um, public education and democratic education. And today, everybody can recognize that a huge change is needed in the education system in order to face uh, the 21st century challenges. And so we have an incredible opportunity here to do groundbreaking work uh, in order to push forward the whole public education system and also to gain more recognition for the current democratic schools uh, so that they can continue their work and continue expanding. To be a democratic school, it means um, to provide the space for children to explore themselves, to get to know themselves, to get the, to know their strengths, their, their talents, their limitations, and to provide uh, the support that is needed uh, for them to develop their fullest potential, um, to learn to make choices, to take decisions, to deal with freedom, and to take responsibility for their life. We see many positive effects. Uh, at first, to increase their well-being and their engagement. Also, to build up some self-confidence uh, by children. To increase also their self uh, processing in, in, in their taking their, their process in their own hands um, to let them participate to uh, processes to make decisions and to increase competences in that way also socio-emotional competence I think we we will get less resistance uh, and so a greater support by involving everyone in that process uh, it will make us also to to learn uh, the talents from each other and to engage those talents at the right moment and we see it also as a as a fact to to get to the targets that we have to get in state school Those teachers who want to uh, initiate democratic approach in their schools, in their everyday work, I would recommend for one thing to listen to their students, to uh, be interested in what they are interested in and uh, practice circles 
where everybody can talk safely and express their interests, their needs and uh, joys and worries. And uh, one thing I would recommend more, more once more, uh, is that uh, to step down from uh, the chair of uh, authority and uh, be more equal with the students uh, to investigate in um, uh, different subjects as equal and as a partner not as an authority because that uh, gives a lot of space and open openness and uh, you might even learn yourself something that you didn't know For Italian State School, DESC is in a, an important project to improve our stay at school. A good way to know new approach to spend in our class and increase good relationship with pupils. Thank you. We believe DESC project is important because in the state schools in Brussels, we want to encourage our pupils to engage in their own learning process. And we believe we can learn from democratic education principles how to support these evolutions as teachers and school managers. Y bueno, y le voy a contestar que es una escuela donde los niños pueden escoger lo que quieran estudiar. Una escuela que es que vive adentro de la naturaleza y donde maestros y estudiantes están en, en el mismo nivel donde no está una jerarquía y donde para todos la maestra es la naturaleza y vamos aprendiendo desde ella. Nosotros no creemos de saber lo que es mejor para los niños y creemos que expresar la unicidad de cada uno de nosotros es la esencia de la educación. Y intentamos de, de hacerlo nosotros como maestros y los niños, de ayudar a los niños a hacerlo. Y, y nada, eso es. Nosotros estamos, estamos intentando de cambiar pasito a pasito la, la, la forma educativa que tenemos ahora para darle vida otra vez y para, para que la escuela pueda ser una, un lugar donde aprendemos a vivir, a estar juntos, a cooperar entre nosotros y a ser feliz. ¿Es una escuela en la playa posible? Sí, es necesario y es necesario. Because children need nature for a healthy development. So let's take children back to nature.